killer was truly what his name implied. He didn't need permission. He didn't need rhyme or reason. If he wanted you dead, you might as well lay the fuck down and die. No! You know, before my parents died, they used to bring me and Paul here all the time for picnics. <laughs> yeah, a little family time. Mm -hmm. Sounds cool. Yeah. How old were you when when they died? I was about eight. Yeah, I don't really, really remember a lot of it. Just that it was a car accident. And then your brother took care of you? Yeah, he <laughs> helped me with my homework. And <laughs> <laughs> he took me places, and he was really like my best friend, but now he just tries to control everything, so. He's a brother. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> so what about you? Well, I grew up in Brownsville. Oh, really? Yeah, mm. yeah. Mm -hmm. My dad died when I was four, so I grew up with my mom. And then she died of breast cancer last year, so. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I miss her. She was a funny lady. Yeah. So wait, what are you doing in Houston? I just graduated my first year of pre-law at a community college. And then next semester I start U of H. Oh, so you want to be a lawyer? Yeah. <laughs> it's what my uncle wants, and he takes care, well, he pays for everything. Ah, so he, mm -hmm. he thinks he knows what's best for me. And... So what do you really want to do? I'm gonna be a writer. Well, that's great. Yeah? Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, look. Oh, come here. Hi. Okay, so what flavor do you want? Chocolate. Oh, sounds good. Can I have two chocolates, please? If I don't know if and I'm what else, I'm gonna fire him. What did he say? Uh, Lovebird Special. It's free of charge. Oh. Muchas gracias. Thank you. It's a little. <laughs> That's it. Okay, you know. <laughs> Just go with it. Wait, uh -huh. you know what? Hold, hold on one second. Hold uh, this. Uh, hold this. Okay. Careful. Okay, okay, okay. Here, go. Here, take this hundred. It's a gift. Oh, well, here <laughs> you go. ice cream doing. <laughs> <laughs> what right. was that about? I gave him something I didn't want. You know, you're different than most guys. What is that, like a compliment or? Maybe. <laughs> Yeah. Did you check the inventory to make sure we got enough alcohol for the night? Yes, I did. Snowbody, what the fuck are you looking at me like that for? Do you need anything else? Don't need anything else. Did you trip me? Yeah, I need something else. Did you make sure the receipts from last night is in the fucking safe? Yeah, I did that about an hour ago. Get the fuck out of my face. I have your ass swinging from a fucking pole. Keep tripping. What's up, JD? They killed my cousin. I brought that motherfucker down here to keep him safe, and they killed him. But you know what, Dirk? It's the motherfucking game, dog. That's how it goes. Feel me? But look, I can find out who whack your fam if you need me to. Killing my cousin's murderer? That's personal. That's personal. The purpose of this meeting is for business. Somebody gotta replace it. Are you ready for that? Good, let's get to business. 
I want to know who the fuck robbed me last night. I want to know who planned it. I want to know everybody that was involved. I need to know everything, dawg. You feel me? Well, look, what I'm thinking, it was the niggas out the east. Niggas from the east is pussies. Motherfucking vaginas. There's only one clique in New Orleans that got enough balls to fuck with a nigga like me. Who that? Bars out of the Desire Projects. I fuck with them niggas. Motherfucker, you don't think I know you fuck with these niggas? You don't think I know that's your clique? You played hopscotch? Played on the fucking monkey bar with these hoes? Is this gonna be a problem? Nah, it ain't gonna be no problem. But Killer was at the party when the robber shit jumped off. Kill him. This motherfucker here is a piece of work. He's a pussy. He sat his ass in here. Didn't drink. Didn't fuck. All the ass we had up in here last night, this motherfucker didn't even as much get a lap dance. So look, what you saying is, this nigga was watching us the whole time we was watching him? A smoke screen. For sure. You want me killing? Nah, killing him, we wouldn't be destroying the right man's life. Okay, so Pamela, you were a virgin before JR, am I right? No, of course not. Don't be ridiculous. We were all virgins at one time or another. But look, Pamela, you really need to learn how to be a virgin in your head. No, J.R. wouldn't do that. Please, he's a man, ain't he? And he has the equipment to do everything he wants to do and will. But he, he wouldn't hurt me like that. Okay, men rule logic number 614. Pamela, what you don't know won't hurt you. Well, does... Does he cheat on me? Please, he's a man, ain't he? But look, like I said, you have to learn to be a virgin up here. Pamela, we are all players' wives. We all love our men. That's what we signed up for. But look, he's a ball player, and they have a shelf life. What, 10, 15 years tops? First the knees go, then they slow down, they get old. Really, what you need to start thinking about is what you're gonna do and those kids. What you gonna do, follow him all over the country? Going to those geriatric autograph showings? The old time of baseball games, please. What you think he's gonna be a sportscaster? Uh-uh, no. Maybe he should stand at the car lot in his uniform, juggling balls, selling cars. No, baby, that shit does not put kids through college. You paint a nasty picture. Well, it's a nasty life. And I'll be damned if I drive through it in some dusty-ass station wagon and dragging my tailpipe. No, I'm covered. And you need to make sure you cover too when the time comes. It won't come. OK, look. Me and the girls, we put on a great show. We dazzle, we dance, all that. But the truth is, we just as hollow as a chocolate Easter bunny. But the difference is, we know it's coming. And it's coming closer every day. So you need to take care of you and those kids and let him do what he wants to do. It won't come. Do you have a boyfriend? Forget I ask, but when the time comes, and it will, Come talk to me. Okay, forget this. All right. How about we all get together, we get the kids, and we're going to have a picnic or something? Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. She's right, Pam. Don't pay any attention to those putas. Look, JR wouldn't do that. And if he does? Look, if it happens, it happens. Yeah, I made it, but believe it wasn't easy for the gold. My trials and tribulations trying to fight the limits. You have Jaime take care of those rims? I mean, he's picking him up on Thursday. You know, something about this, I just don't feel right. You know, it's a model thing. It... What are you talking about? You think he'll do something stupid? After what he did with Paul's sister? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Check. Checkmate.